welcome to my YouTube channel where every episode I take a physics topic and hopefully explain it in a really simple and understandable way. Now some episodes are just going to be fun physics facts but most I'm going to try and tie in to the current school curriculum. So when that's the case I'm going to put the key stage in the episode title. Following a recent episode I've done on magnets I thought I'd introduce you to electromagnets. Buzz, buzz. So we know that some metals are permanent magnets, otherwise known as ferromagnets, and they create their own magnetic field, which is an invisible force. Very cool. Now magnets can attract other magnetic materials and can be used for stuff like compasses as well. But what's an electromagnet? Well, did you know that if you put a current through a normal wire, like a copper wire which isn't normally magnetic, then this current will create a magnetic field around the wire. What? So putting an electric current through a wire creates a magnetic field all of a sudden. That's cool. And if the wire was straight and pointing down like this, then the magnetic field created would circle it like this. And if the wire was pointing up like this, then the magnetic field created would circle it like this. And the field would be stronger near the wire and yet weaker as you travel out away from it. The field is also stronger with the more current you put through it. So crank that baby up if you want a stronger magnetic field. And that's it. These types of magnets that are created by putting an electrical current through a wire are called electromagnets. Ooh. So generally, electromagnets are made out of this wire being curled up into a coil. And this coil is called a solenoid. Cool name. Well, when you do this, you coil the wire, create the solenoid and run a current through it. Now, the magnetic field created looks a lot more like a bar magnet's magnetic field. And the field inside the solenoid is a lot stronger and much more consistent, which is another added benefit. So you have your solenoid and it's connected to a power source. So if the current is going around this way, then the north pole of the electromagnet will be on the left and the south pole will be on the right. And just like a bar magnet, the magnetic field lines will always travel from north to south. But this can be changed by changing the direction of the current. So if you reverse the direction of the current, the magnetic field will be reversed and the poles will switch. Is there anything electromagnets can't do? Oh yeah, well another benefit of these guys is that you can turn off the magnetic field by switching the current on and off. So you can use your solenoid as a magnet whenever you please. So if you remember that I said you could increase the strength of your electromagnet by increasing the current through it, well, there are two other ways that you can strengthen your electromagnet. Firstly, put more turns in your solenoid. So yeah, more turns in the coil will increase the magnetic field. And secondly, we could put an iron core inside the solenoid. So if we wrap our coil around an iron core, like an iron nail, then this will increase the strength of our electromagnet. This is because iron is a ferromagnet, so it will help us out. However, we can't just use any metal. We have to use iron to ensure that the behavior of the electromagnet won't change. This means we have to make sure that the magnetic field will still disappear when the current is turned off. Because if you use, say, a steel core, then the electromagnet would actually stay magnetised even after the current has been switched off. Well, this doesn't help. We might as well use a permanent magnet at this point. Iron is best because it's easily magnetised and therefore easily demagnetised, whereas steel is much more difficult to magnetise and therefore demagnetise as well. So an iron core creates a temporary magnet, whereas a steel core creates a permanent magnet. Let's finish up with some examples of how electromagnets can be used in everyday life. They're used as a tool for heavy lifting. So like in scrapyards, they can be moved 
to hover over whichever car or whatever they want to lift, switch it on, boom, the car is attracted to the electromagnet and it can be relocated in the air. Switch the electromagnet off, car drops. They're actually hidden in a lot of our electrical equipment. For example, an electrical doorbell uses electromagnets, but also our TV, tape recorders, hard disks, motors, generators and transformers all use electromagnets. You get the picture. They're everywhere. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I'll try to do a video for you.